A certain town has an area of 3.72 square miles. Which of the following is the closest to the area in square yards of this town? Okay. What we definitely cannot do here is take 3.72 square miles and multiply it by 1760. We get our answer. There, we're done. Let's go move on to the next one. That's not how this works. The reason why is because this is in yards. This is not in square yards, and this is not in square miles either. So we have to work with the units that we are given, right? Here's what we have to do. Well, what we want to do for all four of these unit conversion questions that we have today is simply multiply by one over one. That way we will not quote, change the units that we were given. We'll change the numbers, but we'll keep it, we'll only change the numbers in terms of what units we're converting into. Here's what I mean by that. If we multiply by 1760 yards over one mile times 1760 yards over one mile, what you'll notice is that these two fractions are equal to each other. I mean, they're one over one. Because 1760 yards is equal to one mile. So the numerator and denominator are the exact same. Okay. The reason why we did that twice is because if we were to multiply these together, what we're going to get is 1760 squared yards squared over one squared miles squared. One square is just one, obviously. What I want you to do is treat these as variables, these units. So miles, let's say miles is like X, right? And we have X squared in the numerator right here. We also have an X squared in the denominator. So the X squared is cancel out. So just like variables, these miles squares will cancel out. What we're going to be left with is 3.72 times 1760 squared. I don't want to use the asterisk. Let's use parentheses. Yards squared, which then we can go into Desmos. And Desmos.com slash calculator. This is the calculator that you get on the SAT. So use it. 3.72 times 1760 squared. And we get this huge number of 115230721523072 11, yards squared. That's our answer. Okay. Let's move on to number two. Let's close Desmos for now. I predict that we'll be needing it in the future. Anyways, the area of a rectangular region is increasing at a rate of 250 square meters per hour. Which of the following is the closest to this rate in square feet per minute? And the SAT has very generously give us a conversion from meters to feet. 250 square meters per hour and we need to convert this into square feet per minute so what this problem is basically saying is we have to do this we have to convert from meters squared to feet squared and hours to minutes obviously and what i would recommend that you do is do it one at a time right so what we're going to do here is to let's start with hours converting to minutes we want to multiply by one over one. So one hour equals 60 minutes. Now notice how I put this fraction like this with the hours at the top. I could have also put this fraction like this because this is still one over one. But the thing is that if I did this, again, we're treating these units as variables, right? Then we would have one over X here because the hours is, let's say X in this case. We would also have um, X in the denominator here, right? Because there's an hours down here. 
So we would end up with one over x squared. We don't want this. We want the hours to cancel out. That's why I was very careful to write the hours up top because we already have an hours at the bottom and these two cancel out. Now, we can take that one step further. Since we already converted from hours to minutes, we want to convert from meters squared to feet squared. So let's do that. 3.28 feet over one meter times 3.28 feet over one meter because it's meters squared. So these meters cross out with that meters squared up top. 250 divided by 60 times 3.28 squared. What are the units we have left? We have feet squared. We also have minutes. Feet squared over minutes, which is exactly the type of form that we wanted. Feet squared over minutes. What is that equal to? We're about to find out. All right. You have 250 divided by 60 um, times 3.28 squared. Okay, 44.827. And this is in feet squared over minutes. That's our units. Okay, wonderful. Real quick before we move on to number three, if you're looking for tutoring, the satmath.com. Oh, there we go. Come. I'm giving away free tutoring to students that are looking for tutoring. Just go to the satmath.com. I will tutor you for free. All right, number three. A rocket speed is increasing at a rate of 18.3 meters per second. 18.3 meters per second squared. What is the rate in miles per minute squared? Okay. Hopefully you notice that th this SAT question is trying to trick you by giving you very similar units, or at least the symbols for these units are very similar, right? Three of them have M's, two of them have MI's, right? You want to, I know there's a small point, but you want to be very clear with your handwriting. My handwriting is not the best as you can tell, but at least I know that it's, it's legible enough for me to be very clear in knowing what I'm writing, right? It's, it's almost like communicating with yourself. You need to be, <laughs> you need to know exactly what, what you were thinking, exactly what you were doing, right? It's just going to help you on the SAT. How do we convert from here to here? Let's start with meters to miles. That sounds like the more simple one. Second squared times one mile over 1609 meters. The meters cancel it out. And then we also want to convert from second squared to minute squared. So since there is 60 seconds in a minute, we're going to do that twice because we need minutes squared. Okay. These seconds cancels out with the second squared. So what we end up with is 18.3. Oh, it is not equal. There we go. 60, 18.3 times 60 squared over 1609. And this Blank that for a second. Okay. Miles over minutes squared, which is exactly the units that we want. Perfect. Let's go into Desmos. 18.3 times 60 squared. It doesn't matter what order you necessarily do this in because based on PEMDAS, this is all 
multiplication and division are the same priority, right? So 18.3, 60 squared, 1609, 40.945. Okay, wonderful. Let's move on to number four. This is the last one. And this is about density. Okay. The density of a certain type of wood is 820 kilograms per cubic meter. A sample of this type of wood is in the shape of a cube where each edge length is 0.6 meters. This is a cube. To the nearest whole number, what is the mass of the in kilograms of the sample? Well, we need the mass, and it's in kilograms, right? So let's say you didn't know that density equals mass over volume. Um, I, I have this memorized, a lot of students have this memorized because um, this looks like a heart. It's called the density heart. So if you draw a heart, right? It's a horrible heart. Just bear with me. If you draw a line through it, then you see an M. Whoa. You see an M up top, right? And you see a V. And these two letters create a heart. And this line represents the division. Right? So it's called the density heart. You can memorize density that way. You should have that memorized. But even if you don't, that's totally fine. Here's what we're going to do. We don't necessarily need to know that for this question. Here are the two units that we have, 820 kilograms per meter cubed and then 0.6 meters. And we want to turn this, all of this into kilograms. How do you think we're gonna do that? Well, we're probably gonna multiply them because we wanna multiply out this meters cubed and then we'll be left with kilograms. But we can't do that yet because this is in meters right now. 0.6 is in meters and 820 is in kilograms per meters cubed. So let's just cube this and then let's multiply it. And once we do that, we have 820 times 0.6 cubed and then kilograms, meters cubed, meters cubed. This one is this top meters cubed. This one is the bottom meters cubed. And they just cancel out. So it's really just 820 times 0.6 cubed. So let's figure out what that is. 820 times 0.6 cubed, which is 177.12 kilograms. This is our mass. We didn't even need the density formula, mass over volume, because just based off of the units, we we're able to find the right answer. If you want free tutoring with me, go to theSCTmath.com. I scored a 780 on the math section of the most recent digital SAT, and I'm also a tutor for College Board, the company that makes the SAT. So if you want tutoring from a College Board tutor, go to the SATMath.com.